All right, so just another example here of how we can use trig functions to help us find missing lengths of triangles. So suppose we've got a little 60-foot ladder here, and it's leaning against a wall. And suppose the angle it makes with the top of the wall is 15 degrees. And we want to figure out how high up the wall does the ladder reach. So again, we've got our little triangle here. It's got length, the hypotenuse is length 60. We've got our little 15 degrees up here. And we're trying to figure out the height, okay? So at this point, you know, I'm thinking, okay, in terms of trig stuff, um, you know, for 15 degrees, since the angle's sort of up here, the side on, you know, next to it, we would consider that to be the adjacent side. Okay, I'm giving information, I'm giving information about the uh, hypotenuse. Okay, so I'm giving information about the hypotenuse, and I'm thinking, which one of the trig functions, uh, you know, relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Well, let's see, sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so that's not right, but hey, I think cosine, right, so cosine of the angle, which is 15 degrees, that's going to equal the adjacent side, the length of the adjacent side, the ratio of the length of the adjacent side to the uh, length of the hypotenuse. Okay, we know the uh, uh, the hypotenuse here has length 60, so basically we just get our nice little equation here. It says that cosine of 15 degrees is going to equal A over 60. So really all we have to do in this case is just multiply both sides by 60, and that'll give us the length of our adjacent side. So if we multiply by 60 and multiply by 60, it'll just cancel on the left, or excuse me, the 60s will just cancel on the right. And on the left, we'll be left with 60 times cosine of 15 degrees. So let's see, I'm going to, this is one uh, that definitely I wouldn't have memorized in terms of sort of trig angles. So let's see, uh, we'll do cosine of 15 degrees here. I'm getting cosine of 15 degrees. I'm going to round off uh, as approximately 0.9659. And now all we have to do is simply multiply that by 60. So I'm getting that the adjacent side is equal to, we'll say, 57 point, I'm getting 9555 when I round off. So it says, uh, basically it says uh, this ladder is simply going to reach up to a height of, I think we used feet originally. so. This ladder is going to make uh, uh, the ladder is going to reach to a height of approximately 57.955 feet up the wall.